What is up everyone? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to install Mar I slash O into your computer and basically how to make it work. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what this is, this is basically machine learning or an AI playing Mario, Super Mario World, on your computer automatically. So it's actually a pretty fun and cool, interesting game and just extremely fun and like very intelligent thing to see and like how this was made and how it was played. Um, this was, I believe this code was made by this person named Seth Bling, this video that I'm currently on. And he actually made, uh, he made the game, he, or not the game, he made the code basically. And he was able to like run the code in the background in which the AI automatically pay, played the game and is at, at the end of the, like the generations. And when he evolves and mutates into a certain type of field, he is able to actually learn and beat the stage on its own. It's extremely impressive and like very complex on how this was achieved. Um, you can look up into that on like how that works later on, but I want to show you how to basically make it work because um, he provides the source code, but there's like no tutorial on how to like basically make it work on your own computer and how to basically play it. You can literally do this if you're a gaming channel for like a live stream. I actually tested it out. It's pretty fun to like let your viewers see what's happening where you let the bot basically play on its own, you let the live stream run and boom, you rake in the views. <laughs> or you could obviously just do it for yourself and just see, it's, it's interesting and fun to see to see it learn and grow. Now to install it, uh, like I said, if you wanna check out this video, I'll leave a link for it in the description below uh, just to watch, it's pretty informative. Uh, but his code is available in Pastebin. I will leave a link for this in the description below. Um, you essentially need to download the raw file and just save it as a .lua file. And what you need next is BizHawk and Super Mario World. I will leave a link in the description on how to install BizHawk. I actually made a video on that already. So you guys can check that out, see how to install BizHawk. Should be pretty easy, simple, and straightforward. Um, but once you have those things installed, I'm going to show you essentially how to work. So let's say this is the BizHawk that you have installed. Uh, you're going to go to emuhawk.exe. That is the obviously the, um, the game, uh, emulator that you're going to be able to run to play the game uh, you're going to open the rom of the super mario world that you downloaded as well i'll leave a link again it's in bizhawk you can see where to get emul uh, roms from pretty straightforward you'll have the game i'm just going to mute it for now you'll have the game running so let's just what you're going to do is you're going to create your own world uh, it doesn't matter you can just create any uh, a brand new world because you'll be playing for the first time um, and once you've created the world, go to any stage, essentially. So let's say you're going to go to, it doesn't matter, like I said, you, we're going to go to Donuts Plains. Once you're in any stage, you're going to go to File, you're going to do Save State, and let's just do Save State 1. It, it doesn't matter where you save it. Once you did that save, you're going to go into SNES in the BizHawk folder. You're going to go to State, and you're going to take that latest save you did. I'm going, obviously, by the dates, the 419. You're going to copy this. You're going to go back to the original BizHawk folder. In here, you're going to go to Lua. Once you're in Lua, you're going to go to SNES, and in here, you're going to paste that save file you did. Uh, let me actually delete the old one so it doesn't duplicate. And you're going to change this to DP1. The reason you're doing this is within the code, it, it loads the DP1 save file. Um, the other Lua file that you downloaded from the paste, uh, the website that I showed you, um, the paste bin, you're going to drag and drop it in here. It's going to be called neatevolve.lua. So if it's not called that, call it that, but it's going to be called neatevolve.lua. So once you have this, all you're going to do is you're going to copy this and drag it into the emulator. Once you do that, you will see, as you can see, this is Gen 0, Species 1, Fitness 3. It's just literally the character right there in front of your face showing you what he is doing. And this is literally the code running right now. It's doing its thing, it's running its magic. And um, you have a few players, uh, like you can, a few items over here that you can play around with. You have the show map. It starts showing you like what the character is doing. He's learning, or the AI is doing, I should say. He's learning all the different buttons, what A, B, X, Y, up, down, left, right, all these different things, what they mean, what they are. You can either show it or not. You have the um, I don't know what this one does actually. Um, oh, I guess that shows. Yeah, that shows the connections. I guess part of the initial thing. 
It shows the bias, it shows the mode, it shows the link, so you don't obviously have to look at those things. You can hide the banner on the top as well, and that's all. And it's just, like I said, he's gonna keep loading this, he's gonna keep learning. As you can see, all the different species, the, gen the gnome is one. It's As soon as this hits 100%, the generation changes. It's gonna take a, a long time until he learns, like, like you see, he's walking now, until he learns what to do, how to get smart, how to basically play the stage. He's gonna probably die a lot of times. And once this is all, like, set in stone and done, he will then know like okay i know what i need to do to be able to beat this level so it's going to take some time it's going to probably take hours if not more than that possibly 24 plus hours for him to beat the level and he's going to literally continue doing this until he keeps learning until he keeps learning different methods logic tricks and trips and tips and tricks i should say and yeah all that other good stuff and then it's going to go from there so yeah guys this was how you can make an ai play mario like i said if you wanted to stream this next you can literally turn on obs boom put it in a stream and you got it man he, the character is just going to stream from there then so i would highly recommend you just checking that out it's just, just cool in general if you wanted to show off to your friends like oh look what i did <laughs> but no uh read up on the ai stuff it's actually very interesting and cool uh, a lot of intelligent people like work on this heavily like they put a lot of time and effort into this to learn essentially what's going on so highly recommend you guys checking this out um yeah overall if you guys found this video helpful and informative please smash that like button it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that every day peace